Hi, hi. I'm still me, Nico. So, um, <laughs> I, I was, we were talking earlier uh, about my dad, my, my brothers and everyone who couldn't be here, seeing as how they're on the other side of the veil. Um, and uh, I, I don't know exactly how to say this, but like, Every once in a while, it doesn't matter if there are people here or not, I'll say something and it triggers a memory of my dad and I can hear his voice still and I can hear him mocking me or <laughs> telling me to man up, you know, and, and I, it feels good, but in that moment where it's like I can hear him saying man up, I'll turn around and say, shut the fuck up, and nobody else heard him. <laughs> And I know I'm saying it in my external voice, and I should be saying it with my internal monologue. Uh, but it's because I'm so used to arguing with them out loud, because they always, my cousins, my brothers, my dad, it just feels, it feels wrong not to argue with them back when they say something smart as in my head, you know? And I think that it's helping me <laughs> it's helping me let go I guess that's the way to put it it's helping me let go of the pain from losing them because there's part of them that still lives on inside of me if that makes sense because they're still pissing me off they're still there because they still live on in the conversations that I have with my children where I turn around and I say something and my son will be like, okay, grandpa, you know, and then he'll go off and do something. And I'll be like, yes, I'm turning into the old man because he was my real role model growing up. You know, he was my, my main role model growing up. But I, I think that's what it's about is I, I have this continuous fear that I'm going to let go of them, him, Juan, Doug, Teresa, Bear, all of them. I feel like I'm going to let go and just never remember them again. And, and there's the rational side of my brain that says that's not going to happen ever. And um, letting go of the pain doesn't mean to let go of the person or the memory entirely. It just means to allow yourself to start healing after they're gone. And right now, even as I say this, I know that this is the rational mind. This is this is what rationally I should be. I should be presenting this, and I should be doing this, and I should be meditating on this and working on this. And yet, <laughs> I still have that fear of letting go because what if one day I don't remember what his voice sounds like? What if one day I don't? Remember how Dougie laughs. What if one day I don't remember how Bear sucks his teeth at me every time I say something he's pissed off about? And I'm scared, I guess. I'm scared that by letting go, I'll be letting go of them entirely and that I'll lose them. And I think all of us are scared that way. I think that's normal. I think that's part of the grieving process. But hell, I don't know which part of the grieving process it is. I just want it all to be over with. I want to be done with it and I want to have a normal life again where I don't obsess about trying to keep them alive in some way, shape, or form, you know? I think as a society, we all need to work on a healthy way of letting go of that pain without letting go of that person. Also, I got this hat at a thrift shop. I think it works. I like it. It's kind of cute. It doesn't quite fit my head. It's a little bit big. But if I put up my hair a little bit, it'll hold it on nice and snug. I think it looks all right. Talk to you soon.